welcome to Batu Cave, one of the most amazing places in Malaysia. I'm happy to be your tour guide today to share you something interesting facts about this place and show you some beautiful sight. Are you ready? Let's go! Batu Cave is a complex of limestone caves that are very old and very big. How old do you think they are? They are about like 400, 400 million years ago. That means the cave were here before the dinosaur. And how big do you think they are? They are so big that they can fit in many Indian temples and shrine inside them. The cave is first found by American geologist William Temple Holiday. He get attracted by a strong smell. Get to found a massive limestone cave. The smell is actually a lot of bad dropping poo poo, <laughs> which later become a very good fertilizer in agriculture. The cave are named after the Batu River, which flow nearby. Batu means rocks in Malay. Other than bats, the cave are also home to many other animals, such as monkey, shiplet, bird, the bird nest bird, shiplet. You can see many monkeys outside the cave, but be careful. They might try to steal your food or belongings. Please take note that. Do not feed or do not touch them. It is dangerous. The monkey are very aggressive. They used to bite people. And there's bat. Uh, bat is usually stay hidden in a cave. Uh, sometimes you can hurt them squeaking. Batu cave have three main caves. The temple cave, the Ramayana cave, the duck cave. The duck cave is the nature reserve site which is the most researched tropical cave in the world. There is a rarest spider in the world called the trapdoor spider that are almost extinct. The duck cave is only accessible with a guide and you can choose between an educational tour of 45 minutes or adventure tour of 3 to 4 hours that you will make all your all your chuck, all the tea, all the mud one you have to climb <laughs> that one need to pre-book pre in advance <laughs> okay the founder of Batu Cave Temple is K. Tambu Sami Pillay the Captain India and India Tamil trader who was also the founder of the Sri Maha Mariamman Temple in the old Kuala Lumpur city centre, the oldest Hindu temple in KL. He was inspired by the shape of the entrance of the main cave, which looks like a well. Well is actually the spear of Lord Murugan, the Hindu god of war and victory. On 1890s, he then decided to build a temple to Lord Murugan in the cave. A pioneer of development of Batu Cave as a natural cave combined with religion, culture, tourist attraction. Indian is the third largest ethnic group in Malaysia. There is about 2 million of them and spend 7% of population in Malaysia. Batu Cave is the most popular Hindu temple outside India. The most famous thing is Batu Cave the the most famous thing about Batu Cave is the huge gold statue of Lord Murugan, the Hindu god of war and victory. Hinduism is one of the religions in Malaysia along with Islam, Buddhism, Christianity and other. We all live in harmony. And Lord Murugan is very important to the Hindu Tamil community in Malaysia. The statue of Lord Murugan is the tallest statue in Malaysia. Tallest Lord Murugan statue in Malaysia. And the second tallest Lord Murugan statue in the world. It is 140 feet high, which is about the same as 14 elephants standing on top of each other. The statue is painted over 300 liters of gold paint. The statue is built on 2006 and took three years to complete. It is a symbol of the devotion and faith of the Hindu community in Malaysia. To get to the main cave, we have to climb 272 steps of rainbow staircase. That's a lot of steps. Anyway, anybody here have fear of height or any health condition? Luckily, you, are, you all are so young and healthy. Don't worry, you can do it. The steps are very colorful. 
with rainbow color, the temple cave is free to enter. But you have to follow a dress code. Please take note that women with short pants and skirt have to power up to your knee. You can buy or rent a sarong which is long piece of coat that is wrapped around waist to power up your knee and avoid exposure. The services are available at the foot of the mountain cave, the stair entrance. Starting point there with crew to help out. You can see a lot of Indian devotee actually walk barefoot, go to go up stair to the, the cave. As we climb, beware that is the steep stair. Pay attention on your step. Do not wash around while walking up. If you want to view, then stop a while at the side to enjoy the breathtaking view of the statue, the city skyline and the surrounding hills. Come on, you are almost there. When we reach the top of the step, we will enter the main cave, which is also called the Temple Cave. This is where the Hindu worship Lord Murugan and other gods and goddesses. Inside the cave has a mystical atmosphere. It's little bit dim and mist in the cave. You can hear the sound of bear and birds that live in the cave together. You can see many statues, painting and decoration inside the cave. The cave is very spacious and have a high ceiling. There is more deeper inside can walk into it. Supposedly, more inner will be more darker. But amazingly, deep in there, there is a natural cave hole in the ceiling that let the natural sunlight in, especially during rainy time. You can even spot a rainbow from the cave hole. So beautiful. Lord Murugan, Lord Murugan Temple is always on a hill or cave. Do you know why? Let me share you the mango wisdom fruit story.